Howdy, it's Uncle Paul. Finally, the school year has started and I am going back to work as a substitute teacher. Okay, well, finally got out here to do some weed eating on Hurley's and my trail out here. And it had grown up with all that rain this spring. Uh, this Most of it had just grown up so much. And uh, my little weed eater right here, uh, battery operated, just couldn't handle it. So now that we haven't had much rain, uh, I was able to get out because all that stuff died mostly. I was able to get out and, and uh, get our trail where we can walk the whole thing now. So how much did you have to pay for your school books? Huh? How much did you have to pay for your school books? Uh, I think it was like 140. 140? How many books was that? One. One. Okay. Yeah, sounds about right. So you got a lot of studies <laughs> done last night. So how much did your books cost? Too much. Do you know how much? Uh, no. So how was work? Was it hot out there today? A little bit. A little bit. Reagan, how much did you pay for your books? Was it 500? 500, how many books? Four. Four books for $500. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys know, that I'm taking a couple of courses, uh, college classes. And I finally got one of the books in. And I, I didn't know I needed a second one. Found out the other class did have to have a book. So I ordered it. It's not in yet. And so just very expensive. And I talked to my sister-in-law. And she said, she basically confirmed what the boys said about their books. Except it cost a little bit more than what they had said. They needed codes and things too for stuff. But anyway, so, and it's not just the books. It is just... Uh, school supplies in general is pretty expensive. And I went to Walmart or HEB and I was I'm just wanting a, a a couple of notebooks for my classes. You know, a, just cheap but fairly thick uh, with paper, a lot of paper to make make notes and everything. And they were all pretty expensive. They had you know all these pockets and uh, plastic covers and all. You know, it's just uh tough finding just something just some cheap spiral you know but a thick one you know but i finally did i finally did i found a couple here's one rough life <laughs> and here is my favorite one no selfie control so anyway i'm all set with this now one of my subscribers told me last week after i was whining and complaining about the prices of books uh, suggested uh, DW Coyote uh, suggested I go to abebooks.com abebooks.com and I, I did go and look and and I think I found um, uh, what what would have worked but it was kind of too late uh, I had really already ordered and uh, and everything so but next time I'll look at that more closely and there are some other resources out there uh, I think, and so I'll, I'll investigate all that. But anyway, I am uh, excited about going back to work as a substitute now. I'm going to make be making some money, which of course I need to anyway, but especially to pay for now what's, e what's even going to cost more 
than I thought uh, concerning going back to school. Yay! All right. Well, the family went and washed the truck right there, so I knew it was gonna rain. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Hey, Hurley. Hey. You enjoying this rain? Oh, uh, oh yes. Oh. Ah, good Sunday morning, everybody. Who good Labor Day weekend morning. Oh man, I tell you what. Uh, I slept. It's uh, it's six thirty-six right now, so I slept kind of hard, longer than I expected to. And then going out the door to make coffee, uh, I'm knocking stuff around, accidentally making all kinds of noise. I think I woke up the household nearly, so uh, they're not going to be happy with me here. But but I did have a I did have a nightmare. Uh, right before I got up uh, the nightmare was that that I was eating a salad and that's not the nightmare that was fine that was good but for some reason I was in a situation where I was forced to eat this salad while laying down on my right side which is you know the side that I eat you know I use this hand I'm right-handed but I was laying on that arm I was laying on that side and I had to eat the salad while laying on my right side and using chopsticks. Now, I don't use chopsticks. I've never really eaten with chopsticks before, but that was, I had this big salad. I was forced to eat with chopsticks with my left hand while laying down on my right side. Anyway, don't know the circumstances of that at all. Don't know where that came from. But anyway, <laughs> so I considered it a nightmare. But anyway, so let me uh, drink uh, another couple swigs of coffee, and then I'll go get on the scale. Okay, so last week I weighed 383.6. This week, 380.8. So that's a loss this week of 2.8 pounds. So that's wonderful. And I nearly forgot to mention, you may remember <laughs> that I had made a weight loss goal for today, for this, for Labor Day weekend, uh, quite a few weeks back, and that was to get down to 360 pounds. Well, I didn't make that goal, but I knew I knew it was going to be tough to do that, but but I thought it was possible, and it was, just did not work hard enough, did not... You know, it just didn't work out. However, I I have been losing weight. I, I had one week there uh, a couple weeks ago where I gained just a little bit back, like 0.2 pounds or something. So uh, so it's been going slow, which is the way it usually has been going lately. But uh, I'm not going to make another goal for now. I'm just going to keep clipping along. I will make another goal in the future. But uh, I just wanted to fess up and point out, for those of you who might uh, have been uh, – uh, waiting to see. No, I did not make that weight loss goal. Well, I'd kind of like to go back to bed, but I don't need to. I need to uh, get started on my routine uh, before church. And the sun, when it gets up a little bit higher after I load this video, it'll be high enough. I go out there and see Hurley this morning. But uh, guys, I hope you have a very, very safe, very fun uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, I'm not I'm gonna try not to eat too much. I may splurge just a little bit. But guys, thanks for watching so much. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next week.